My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the message of this clip into your hearts and inshallah it will encourage you all to get closer to this beautiful religion. As we all know, it is the religion of truth, the religion sent down by the one true Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us look around us, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Look how fast time is passing by. Look at the world and how corrupt it has become. Look at all the poverty that is increasing worldwide. And look at all the facade and how it is spreading far and wide. Look at how disbelief is spreading throughout the land. We need to regain our faith. We need to lift our spirits. We need to come back and follow this great religion. We must stand firm upon belief. We must stay proud of our religion. Let us not be of those who are embarrassed of our deen. Why should we feel shy of our belief? As we are the believers of the Lord who created mankind, the one subhanahu wa ta'ala who created the heavens and earth. We are the believers of Al-Wahidul Ahad, the one true Lord. In a hadith found in Al-Bukhari, Khabbab ibn Al-Arat said, We complained to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam while he was sitting in the shade of the Kaaba, saying, Why do you not ask for victory for us? Why do you not make supplication for us? He وسلم, replied, Amongst those before you, there was a man who was seized and put into a hole in the ground which was dug for him. Then a sword was brought, put to his head, and he was sawed in half. Then he was raked with a metal rake through his flesh and bones. None of that turned him away from his religion. And at the end of the hadith, the Prophet وسلم, said, Innakum qawmun tista'ajiloon. Verily you are a people that are hasty. What we are going through in this day and age, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, is nothing compared to what the people of the past have been through. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, you may feel like you are a stranger in this world. You may feel out of place living in a society where it contradicts the religion of Islam. The Prophet wasallam said in the hadith, Islam began as something strange and it will return to being as something strange. So glad tidings, Tuba lil So glad tidings of paradise to the strangers. The companions asked, Who are they, O Messenger of Allah? He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam answered, Those who are pious and righteous when the people have become evil. And this hadith is found in Ahmad. As you can clearly see that the religion of Islam has been taken by the masses of the people as something strange. The Prophet ﷺ has given the glad tidings of a tree in Jannah, in paradise, for those who live their lives as strangers because the people are deviating away from the teachings of the Qur'an and Sunnah. The Prophet ﷺ said, Tawba is a tree in paradise, and the time it takes to cross it is a hundred years. The clothes of the inhabitants of paradise is taken from its coverings. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, stay patient, be patient, Raise your heads high when people call you a stranger. Keep Jannah in your glance, as that will be the most perfect place to ever live.